Next, let's create another array to assign numerical values like this. For that, click variables and drag the var list equal box bracket code block here. Now you need to give the name to the array. I will remove the word list here and type numbers 3 instead. I can give the elements or values of the array to the right side of this equal sign. It is necessary to give 8 values as 4, 10, 16, 22, 28, 34, 40 and 46. But here there is space only for 3 values. Since 2 more values are needed, click on the arrow on the right side here and make space for the remaining 5 values. Now let's type the values in these places. I type as 4, 10, 16, 22, 28, 34, 40, 46. In this way, let's create another array to store the names of the labels from 19 to 27. Here too, we are storing string values, so we drag a code block inside inverted commas as var list equal box bracket under variables. Let's click on the arrow on the right side and prepare space for an element's name. The name of the array to the left side of the equal sign is given as win3. Before that, let's give the elements of the array in inverted commas as label 19, label 20, label 21, label 22, label 23, label 24, label 25, label 26, and label 27. We assigned only 8 values in the numbers 3 array. After value 46 assigned at the end, let's assign 52 as another value. For that, I click variables again and drag the append item code block here. Here you need to give the name of the array as numbers 3. Here in front, we give the value to be added. Let's type 52 digits. Now let's display these values in the labels on the third screen as before. The value called numbers 3i should be displayed in the label called win3i. First, let's create a loop for that. A 4 code block in the control section is dragged here. As before, here we will only change the condition. How many elements are there in numbers 3 array? Previously, there were 8 elements. Then we added another element. Now we have 9 elements. If we give the condition as win3.length instead of i less than numbers3.length, will all the elements be displayed? Yes, definitely. Initially, the length of the numbers3 array was 8. Then another element was added, so now the length is 9. Then we drag a list.length code block under variables to the right side of this smaller than sign, remove the word list and name the array as numbers3. As before, click the UI controls and drag the set property id property value code block into the for loop. For the id, drag a list box bracket 0 code block in the variable section to the part called id. Let's give win3 as the name of the array and type i here. It is necessary to display these values as the text of this label. So, click on the small arrow here and select text. Next, we need to display the element called i in the numbers3 array as the value. Click variables again and drag a list box bracket 0 code block here. Name it as numbers3 and type i here. Ok, the work of the array is finished. Now click the run button and let's see the next button here. Click and go to screen 2. Click the next button again and go to screen 3. Yes, now the values we have given are displayed in these labels. It is displayed on the label. Good, now click the reset button again. 